Hey guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today, highlighting various methods of two-starring Town Hall 11s as a Town Hall 9 or a Town Hall 10 using air attacks. And we're going to start out with this uh, Lava Lunion. It's been a long, long time since I could say that on this channel, but it's going to be a Lava Lunion attack here from Ultimatrix. Now, this is a really impressive attack because it's a Town Hall 9 against one of these more difficult ring bases that can be really tricky with any air attack. But Matrix here makes it look easy. He goes into the base from the northwest, going into the Eagle Artillery, and he doesn't deploy any of his minions at first. He deploys all his Lava Hounds and then the Balloons. He's going to get all the way into the core of this base, actually doing a decent amount of damage to that Town Hall. Now, the minion's job here is going to be to clean up the Town Hall. He's counting on the pups from the Lava Hound to take care of all those trash buildings around the edges. Now, he sees those minions have not been killed inside the Clan Castle, so right now he uses his heroes to really clear out those minions. At this point in the raid, it's really all about clearing an obvious path or funneling an obvious path for the rest of the 15 minions to get to that town hall. You can see he actually held back on one of the rage spells. So once these CC minions die here at the hand of the queen, he's going to go ahead and use that rage spell along with all the minions onto the town hall and pull off a very impressive two star. Now the queen's going to get the rest of the percentage right here. You can have the builder huts, the inferno tower, and he's still sitting on the queen's royal cloak of Ability, so looking pretty good percentage wise at this point in the raid so he pops the royal cloak ability and he's going to be really patient here at this point he wants to make sure his queen takes care of any of these outlying perimeter defenses or structures as possible so as not to distract the minions from this town hall a very well planned and executed raid here make sure he makes no silly mistakes so the dark barracks is down at this point then the queen's going to be killed and then it's going to be minion time so he drops one minion as soon as these pups die. He drops a few minions, make sure they're actually targeting the town hall, then he trickles the rest in, uses that rage spell, and then they're going to burn through what's left of this town hall. Very impressive to see a town hall 9 two-star one of these town hall 11 ring bases, uh, especially in clan war. I was really impressed with that attack. If you want to attack a base like that, being a town hall 9 or a town hall 10, you can use the same method. Just be very careful that you don't attack into air sweepers. That's the number one thing to look at, and obviously Obviously, make sure that your balloons are going to funnel correctly into the core of the base. So watch the defensive units, watch the flow of the defensive units, and also make sure the air sweepers aren't facing in the direction that you're engaging the base from. The second attack here actually brought you a video highlighting this strategy, but it's worth showing again because it's so effective against these anti-three-star bases at Town Hall 11, and it's the Baby Dragon 360 strategy, where you basically spread out your Baby Dragons 360 degrees around the base that will get you the 50% and then you just engage the town hall using a jump spell if necessary with some Valkyries and using all the rest of your spells to help your Valkyries and your heroes take down that town hall we'll be seeing another one of these raids later on in this episode first I want to go back to a dragon attack taking it old school here this time Jeff is going to go against another ring base at town hall 11 Jeff here is a town hall 10 he's going to go ahead and use a zap quake method to take out two of these air defenses and then that will really set the table nicely for this mass dragon attack after that. So why did Jeff decide to zap quake this ring base? Well, the number one reason, obviously, is because two air defenses are all by themselves on the other side of the base. These other air defenses aren't going to target these dragons at all. Now, he deploys just a few of his dragons at first to set up the funnel for the remaining dragons. The idea here is to basically cater make a path leading directly from the core, the, the excuse me, the perimeter of the base, directly to the core of the base. So now he's going to trigger that clan castle. All minions in the clan castle, another reason to mass dragon this base. One or two shots from the dragons will take down all those minions in the clan castle. Now keep your eye on the remaining dragon here. Once that mortar goes down, you're going to see a nice path leading directly to the core for the rest of the dragons. Now Jeff is really smart here. He deploys the dragons still in a nice spread out fashion. So obviously Jeff is a little bit concerned with that dark elixir drill over there. You can see on your screen because that could distract some of the dragons, luring them away from the core of the base. So right about now, he drops his Barbarian King, just trying to create more percentage value there on the west. He knows some of his dragons are going to probably head west here, but he's saving his rage for the core with those balloons in the clan castle, as well as a few of those dragons who turn to the core of the base. Now he loses a few heading west, 
You see, that's actually perfect because the balloons and these dragons in the core under Rage is going to be plenty to take down the Town Hall, and then the rest of those dragons are going to be able to pick up the rest of the percentage points around the perimeter of the base. So you can see the Town Hall is down, there's a few dragons left, but not doing a ton of work left in the core. There's really just not enough firepower left in terms of dragons to take out the core of this base, but it's okay, the Town Hall is down, and that's all he really wanted there, and it was a very impressive two-star dragon attack. It's really rare that we see these dragon attacks, especially at Town Hall 10. You don't see them too, too often. There was a, uh, there's a few strategies going around out there. I know Power Bang put out a video on, uh, Dragons at Town Hall 10, but still you're seeing, you know, 90% at least ground attacks, at least we are, with these Valkyries, Queen Walks, Bowlers, stuff like that at Town Hall 10, even minor attacks. So I told you I'd bring you another Baby Dragon video, and here it is, guys. This time it's a Town Hall 9 attacking a Town Hall 11, and I wanted to bring you this one because the Dragons, the Baby Dragons, are noteworthy here in that they're only level 1, and the heroes are very, very low level. So this is actually a very impressive attack by little Lisa here. Lisa's second account. Shout out to Lisa, the leader of Battle Elite. And she's able to pull off a really nice attack here. I mean, so much for scouting attacks at Town Hall 9, attacking at Town Hall 11. When you can actually two-star them while using this strategy, it's really valuable in Clan Wars. So often, because kind of the state of the game right now, Town Hall 9 is, is relatively easy when you compare it to uh, times in the past to three-star. So, so often clans are left with a lot of extra Town Hall 9 attacks. And I'm telling you guys, this is a great strategy to use. And you can see the first free spell, I probably would have used it on the Inferno Tower there. But either way, she's able to pick up the 50% and get those two stars on this base. Now, since I've shared this strategy, guys, I've seen people have success with Bowlers in the Clan Castle, or with Valkyries in the Clan Castle, or even with Miners in the Clan Castle. So there's really a lot of flexibility when choosing what troops you want to bring into the actual Kill Squad portion or the town hall portion of that attack. And then we're going to end today's video with a classic. This is really just a classic zap quake with mass dragons against another anti three star base at town hall 11. So we really covered the gamut in terms of base design in today's video. We covered town hall 9 and town hall 10 against anti three star designs. We covered town hall 9 and town hall 10 against ring base designs. And those are really the two most popular base designs in the game right now. It's either anti three star or ring bases. At least that's what I've been seeing most of by far in the current meta as far as defense goes. So you can see here this last raid, it's very, very easy. Basically, you're just going to go ahead and zap quake the two air defenses that are closest to the town hall. And then you just spam your mass dragons. And it's a decent two-star strategy against a maxed out town hall 11 base. And you can get a decent percentage point on top of it. Now, there's another variation of this strategy where you actually bring a lava hound in the clan castle. And then you don't bring the zap quake for two air defenses but only for one and then that allows you more spell flexibility to use on your dragons whether it be rage or a free spell if there's a single target inferno tower depending on the angle of the base that you're hitting so guys thanks so much for watching today's episode i hope you enjoyed these air attacks both at town hall 9 and town hall 10 versus town hall 11s guys thanks so much for watching and as always take care guys